Calling all Ethereum developers, Godwoken is now live. If you're new here, I'm Calvin with Eat The Blocks and in this video, we're going to be looking at Godwoken, an EVM compatible layer 2 built on Nervous's layer 1. Godwoken is a layer 2 roll-up framework inheriting all the security from layer 1 and providing a fast, scalable and familiar platform for your decentralized applications. So let's look at some of the benefits of Godwoken. Godwoken is an inherently multi-chain blockchain ecosystem with low fees and quick transaction times. Godwoken functions as a framework and a collection of tools that powers the layer two, allowing developers to write their code once and deploy it on multiple chains. So if you're a developer that knows Solidity, you can fork any DeFi project and deploy it on Nervous today. Once you've written your Solidity smart contracts and deployed them on Godwoken's EVM, they'll run very similarly to how they would run on native Ethereum, except they'll be running on a layer two optimistic rollup engine. This brings significantly higher throughput than Ethereum, which means your contracts can run faster with much lower fees. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel Ethereum gas fees are a little bit too high for my liking. So by using Godwoken, you can provide your users the same great experience with your dApps while offering significantly lower transaction costs, meaning you can attract and retain more customers and users. Now let's quickly look at Polyjuice. Godwoken currently works in conjunction with Polyjuice, which is an Ethereum compatible backend for the Godwoken rollup framework. Polyjuice aims at 100% EVM compatibility as a goal, meaning they plan to support all smart contracts supported by the latest Ethereum hard fork version. Keeping Godwoken and Polyjuice separate is a deliberate part of the process because Godwoken is not only limited to the EVM. However, Polyjuice was chosen to be part of the first L2 that was built because of the prevalence of dApps being built on the Ethereum ecosystem. Nervous's layer one can support multiple layer twos, completely independent of each other, whether they have different consensus models or programming models. Nervous provides maximum flexibility and future-proofing by supporting up-and-coming blockchain protocols that may not have even been discovered yet. So we can look forward to many more integrations in the future. So what wallets can we use on the Godwoken framework? Currently, Godwoken supports Metamask and Tron wallet, but many more wallets will be added in the future. So coming soon, we can expect smart contract functionality from many other blockchains, such as Tron and Cardano, or EOS. So let's look at the security of Godwoken. Well, Godwoken L2 uses Nervous's layer one fully established common knowledge base, or CKB for short, as its settlement layer. By elaborating on the already established Nakamoto consensus, Nervous has created NC Max, which provides higher throughput and security. This allows Godwoken to take advantage of a no compromises approach when storing and transacting valued assets. The final result is that NC Max can reach 200 transactions per second just on layer one while retaining high security and decentralization. And by stacking multiple layers on top of this, Nervous Network will be able to achieve virtually unlimited scalability in the future. So what can be built with Godwoken? Well, let's look at Yokai Swap. Yokai Swap is the first automated market maker decentralized exchange on the Nervous blockchain, utilizing Godwoken and Polyjuice. Yokai is unique because of the cross-chain abilities that come with Nervous. With Uniswap, you can trade ETH. On Cardano, you can swap Cardano tokens. But with Yokai, you'll be able to trade across a whole range of network tokens. The first token supported by Yokai will be from Ethereum, as well as Nervous's native token, CKB. In the near future, tokens from Cardano will be added, allowing users to interact with all of these tokens interchangeably. The number of assets that Yokai Swap plan to support is only going to grow, and the website is now live for you to go and check it out. Oh, and did I mention they've open sourced their entire code base? Yokai code base is open to all interested developers, security auditors, and the whole community. This gives you the ability to see firsthand how a fully functioning dApp is living on Nervous and utilizing Godwoken. If you want a walkthrough before digging into Yokai's codebase, Julian sat down with one of the senior developers at Nervous and created a getting started guide for Godwoken. They go through creating a Godwoken account on EVM layer two testnet, 
creating and funding an account with CKB on layer one and depositing some CKB on layer two. And that's all that's needed to get set up and get started with a Godwoken account. So definitely check out that video if you want a step-by-step -step guide for Nervous's Godwoken. There'll be a link below. What is the Godwoken whitelist program? Godwoken is initially launching into mainnet beta. So if you want to be one of the first to benefit from its powerful, secure, multi-chain features, your projects must be whitelisted. This is to make sure Nervous can provide you next level support during Godwoken's launch period, which is expected to last a few months until the launch process is perfected. But will your dApps be live during mainnet beta? Yes, transactions and dApps will be live during mainnet beta. Users will be able to interact with launch projects with real CKB and other tokens. Any Web 3.0 projects can apply for whitelisting. Priority will be given to projects that expect to launch in the next three months. So if your Web3 project is going live in the next few months, then check out the link below to apply for Godwoken's whitelist program now. Nervous also has a grants program. The long-term vision for Nervous is to be fully decentralized in all aspects and community-led. So they're looking to empower individuals, projects, and teams who share a common vision for the network. Their initial grants are gonna focus on infrastructure building so the ecosystem can grow, but they'll be introducing marketing, community grants, apps and use case grants, and more. So if you have the experience and skills to deliver on any project within their scope, then you should definitely check out their funding page. That's all for now. Check out all the links below and we'll see you in the future.